Hey, Joe here from Boulay's Garage. So you're thinking about replacing the brakes in your car. Maybe you're capable of doing it, but I want to show you a couple of the most common mistakes people make when they replace their own brakes. Hold on. All right, everyone. So if you look at this caliper bracket here, this is where the brake pad will sit in right here okay just like that um, see all that rust right there normally this shim will go on here I'm gonna clean all the rust up I'm gonna make this look like brand new so this surface is nice and clean it's not raised up from the rust what happens is people will just put the brand new shim over the top of that rust and it's a raised surface and what they do is they pound the brake pad in the bracket that brake pad is supposed to be designed to move freely within this. If you pound it in with a hammer, your brakes aren't going to feel right. That brake caliper won't be able to square up on the surface of this brake pad like it's designed to, and you'll get a spongy brake pedal. And you say, geez, why, why is my brake pedal spongy? I just put new brakes on it. The second mistake people make is, see this caliper pin right here? They'll use bearing grease to lubricate these that's a no-no you do not use bearing grease to lubricate these when you use some a grease like that it actually expands that uh, causes that little see that little rubber seal on the end of the pin causes that to swell up and when it does that it causes it not to um, relieve pressure within here so when this brake caliper heats up that actually pushes this outward and acts like you know you have your foot on the brake partially what I recommend, what I use right here, this is good stuff, Silglide. This stuff works good. It's compatible with uh, the rubber more so. Um, you can use the regular brake grease, um, the synthetic brake grease uh, on. I use uh, right over here. I use the Permatex um, Ceramic Extreme Brake Parts Lubricant. That stuff works good. Works real good. So I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to show you what I do to this caliper. Now, um, you hold on a minute. I'm going to go sandblast this and make it look nice and pretty and show you. Hold on. Okay, everyone. So now you can see this nicely sandblasted surface um, on the brake caliper. Now, for all of you that don't have access to a sandblaster, you can use a regular flat file. It just takes a little bit longer to get down to the bare metal so after you do that what i like to do is i take i use this brake grease we just spoke about before the permatex ceramic extreme brake parks lubricant it's a mouthful isn't it um, take that and i coat over the sandblasted surface and this is going to help slow the new progression of rust so then i put the stainless steel shim over the top of that then again, I put more brake grease on the shim itself, and I do the same thing for the other side. Now, with the, uh, the caliper pins, as I spoke before, do not use brake grease, uh, not brake grease, uh, bearing grease like this. You don't want to do that, especially with the ones for the caliper pins that have the rubber boot on the end. That can cause that boot to swell and it'll fit too tightly in and it'll pressure will build up in that caliper bracket and cause it not to move freely as it should and that'll cause premature brake wear and it will also cause um, your your brake uh, rotor to overheat so this is what I use for that this is Silglide this works quite well less is more you don't want to pack a bunch in there because you don't need a whole lot of this stuff to do that. So, no bearing grease. No. Yes to Silglide for the caliper pins. And for the brake, any metal to metal contact that um, the brake pad has, yes, use the, a brake grease like this that's designed for that. Okay, everyone. So, um, I installed the brake pads in the brackets. I haven't put the caliper down over it yet, but I want to show you 
brake pad should move nice and smoothly within the bracket like that. You should never ever use a hammer to get your brake pads in. That's, that's a no-no. So you want to make sure they move nice and freely. Until next time, I hope this video has helped you better understand what to do and what not to do when replacing your front brakes. Have a good night.